Hi, this is Foofles, and today we're going to work on some basic user interfaces. And we're going to start with basic menus. And you see here I have a dark matter slab with a controllinator on it, microchip, which is going to house the meat and potatoes of our menu, and a few uh, menu options. Now usually in a digital menu you'll have some sort of indicator of what option you're selecting. I'm going to just use a little ball with an X on it. So let's make my ball. Now that I have my indicators ready, we can put a selector on this microchip board to actually do our selecting. We'll just wire each of these outputs to its respective indicating light. Like so. And we can just cycle through them with the down analog stick. How cycling works on the selector is when it has a positive input, it'll cycle forward. Negative inputs will cycle backward. At this point, layout really comes into play because if I just hooked up the analog stick to this, moving down would actually move up in order. So I'm going to use my signal inverter here. It's in my goodies bag. Where is it? Signal inverter. I put two of it. Okay. Uh, we're also going to use an OR switch, so we can use either the analog stick or the D-pad. Which we might not be able to test in create mode. So down. Well, so far so good, isn't it? But the menu doesn't do anything, so let's implement that. So we can use some AND switches and an input for trigger. So let's slap down some AND switches. And, 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 let's make this bigger. Okay, so the first step of the AND is obviously going to be the selector. I'll try to make things more neat than I am, by the way. That'll help. Next, you can either wire the controlinator directly to this, or you can use an on-tap function. I'm going to use an on tap for now. And I'll hook the X into that. And I'll hook this into the empty AND slots. And the ANDs into a function. And for right now I'm going to use sounds. Let's also attach the movement to a little ding sound. Let's see how that all works, shall we? Looks like it works. Now let's say you want to make this more interesting. Add a second column. Or in any case, multiple columns. Well, one easier way I figured out is just to make a grid. So we have our four rows. Let's make a selector for two columns. We'll just put this over here. It'll be easier to understand that way. So I've added an AND gate for each possible grid section. So we have two columns by four rows, that's eight. So now we just mix and match. So we just wire the rows in like so and fill in the columns and uh, you should get the idea from here. Don't forget to hook up the left on D-pad and left analog stick to switch columns. So we just put an AND right here, get left of analog, left of the d-pad, hook that up to cycle the columns, okay, I also hooked up all of these AND gates to their respective indicators, now let's see what happens. Beautiful!